So bloating is a common digestive ailment that really causes major discomfort. It causes embarrassment. It causes emotional distress in many people's lives. And while there's many factors that contribute to bloating, one often overlooked root cause is histamine intolerance. Now, in a study of people with histamine intolerance, they actually found that an overwhelming majority, 92% of them, reported having either bloating or abdominal distension as their primary concern. Now, if you're someone who recently took an antibiotic for some kind of infection, or something happened to really just change your microbiome, and a few months later, you started experiencing GI symptoms like bloating, like the abdominal pain, and maybe other histamine intolerance symptoms, then I want you to realize that you are not alone. And if you're new to my channel, I'm Dr. Hagmeyer, and I'm a certified functional medicine practitioner. Uh, I work with patients all over the world who struggle with histamine intolerance and gut issues, as well as many other chronic health problems. And so in today's video, I want to share with you and help you gain just a better understanding uh, of this connection between histamine intolerance and the microbiome, what's happening in the microbiome, and the symptoms that you're experiencing, like the bloating and the abdominal pain. You know, it's often said that histamine intolerance starts in the gut. And after today's video, I think you're gonna understand exactly why this is. So why does histamine intolerance and the microbiome, why does it leave you with bloating and abdominal pain or even stomach pain? Well, here's the deal and here's what you need to know about histamine and bloating and the bacteria that make up this microbiome. Really, again, remember that your gut microbiome refers to really a collection of trillions of microorganisms, right? These are things like bacteria and yeast and viruses, and they inhabit the gastrointestinal tract, primarily in the intestines. Well, these microorganisms, they play a crucial role in so many different aspects of health and disease. The key to good health, though, in the gut lies in something called diversity. The greater the diversity, the bacterial diversity, the greater the gut health. Now, in the beginning of this video, I said that 92% of people who have histamine intolerance, they struggle with either bloating or abdominal distension as one of their primary GI problems. And if you're someone who was on an antibiotic or something else that would have negatively affected your microbiome or even damaged uh, your gut mucosal lining, then one of three scenarios is really taking place in your gut right now and causing your histamine bloating and your histamine abdominal pain.